Hey, good morning. Back for another fun-filled review of hobby knives. Um, most people are familiar with X-Acto knives. This is like a deluxe kit of X-Acto knives. Now, I had the bigger kit, but I went ahead and bought the smaller kit because I really like these. And if you watch my videos, you also know that I like these cases because you keep everything together. Now, to me, this is incredibly inefficient to have this much space taking up by so few blades. I'll probably pull that insert out and put in some type of a box system so I can get more blades in there because I have a ton of blades. So it says 33 pieces. They count the blades. They probably count the magnets. Uh, kind of amazing what they do to get the part count up. Okay, this is part 96551, although there might be other various part numbers based on manufacturer. Uh, this is a little portable screwdriver, which is kind of nice, but we'll see how it works. Okay, so they have some protective covers. Don't want those. They stapled the cover onto the insert. That's kind of bad because it's cardboard, and it's very possible you're going to tear up the cardboard just getting this off. Wow. Inappropriate. Or what I do different, but I don't want to tear something up as I open it. This is a little screwdriver, and it should have about five bits, very small bits. They're slotted, so they go in a certain way, and then you tighten this. Well, it's kind of nice. I have another, oops, there's three, there's six bits. Now these, I wanted to try these. They feel like they'd be better in your hand than the traditional X-Acto knives. This is the traditional X-Acto knife size. I have a separate review on these. Um, this is nice, but I kind of like the bigger size. Easier to hold in your hand, less chance of giving you aches and pains in your fingers. Um, nice to use. I like I like the handles. I really like the handles. Now to take them apart. I loosen the bottom. It's kind of hard to get them back together. You actually have to squeeze right here to get it back together. Um, I really like the feel of this in my hand, which is one of the reasons I got this. And these are pretty much the same. So they give you three of them. That's nice. Can't imagine why three of them. Seems like two would have been enough. Now this is for the harder jobs. It's still a big fat handle. Here's the big handle out of the other one. I, I like this a lot better than this. Uh, it's a little softer in my hand, but this one's a tiny bit bigger. Um, I think I'd like using that. And same thing here. You loosen it. You can replace the blade. That one works a little better than these. So what have I got here? A little tiny screwdriver. I've also got plastic calipers. Well, they don't have any way to set it to a certain place. So if I measure something and then I want to measure it again or I want to measure the same distance many times, it's possible I'll have to keep adjusting it. So I've got various things. Um, they call this a scratch all. So I'm not so sure it's going to go into there effectively, but let's try it. Uh, actually, probably will. So you can mark metal with that. It's actually kind of neat. I like that. I have scratch awls that I use in my shop. This would be things I'd use with hobbies. I typically don't do hobbies in my shop, so it's nice to have an alternative. So you just put that down in there. It's got slot both ways, 90 degrees to each other. Either of those will work, but I do know that over time, they one side will close up more than the other. And if you remember, I have to pull up on that to get it to tighten. Lots of these now. It gives you numbers, 4, 3, 12, 12, 10, 11, 11. 11 is the traditional most common size. And what happens with these is you take them out it's got a pretty powerful magnet for this. 
you take them out you put them back those magnets are supposed to make it easier as you can see they're kind of hard to get off of there if you try here where it's convenient they almost won't come off but if you go back here you can see the problem with that close this Pretty rugged case. I'm not sure if I need that, but I like the organization. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. I might glue a small magnet down in there. I like this. The case I really like. I like to have all of my stuff in one place, in one case. So I bought them mainly for these handles, and I really like these handles. So, 10 bucks for the set. Uh, I got it for the case, believe it or not. And you get a bonus screwdriver, and it's aluminum, and it's actually, other than this clip that doesn't work, I really like it. I have a, I see myself using this. The problem is, I didn't give you a place here to put it. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.